Hey friends, this is T again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. Okay, I'm assuming this is a live concert. I love live concerts. All of you know this because they take little liberties that they don't do in videos. I think, uh, I don't care if you're a rapper. I don't care if you're a rocker. I don't care what you are. When you're doing videos, you'll do the most tamest type videos mostly. But then when you're out on like on the stage, out live, that's when they take all kind of crazy liberties. I heard all kind of insane uh, stories when it come down to rock bands, when they out there doing all kind of crazy jump. <laughs> I mean, insane stuff. Sometimes they're high, sometimes they're drunk. So they're just having a good old time. And everybody in the crowd can feel them. And they have an ex ex spectacular time as well. You know what I mean? That's what I love about live performances, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this reaction. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? All right, let's get with it.
All right, we just reacted to Led Zeppelin, Whole Lot of Love. I really like this, man. I really like this song, man. Oh, I can't wait to do more on Led Zeppelin, man. But this is an excellent song. Love the beat, love the sound, love the energy of it. It's just fantastic. That's the thing about uh, rock music, man. It's like it's like really raw. You know what I mean? It's it's no no commercial, no 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 fake, no, nothing about it. It's straight raw. You can tell by the way the guys do like interviews. They don't really care to do the interviews. They kind of messing around and junk, kind of joking because they know it's all a joke and all corporate. But they don't want to be a part of that. They just want to be out there just rocking, having a good time because this is what they grew up with. When they probably were teenagers in high school, they probably sat around, you know, doing whatever in their bedrooms and just listening to this music and rocking out man just having a good time and that's what i love about it because it's so pure and that's what you know versus what's going on these days everything seems commercial now everything seems corporate made and that's what i don't like and that's why i feel fake and phony and then when these people come and they do interviews they almost like act like they're excited to do these interviews just for the mere fact that they just want the clout or whatever but it just doesn't seem real to me and that's what i love about these old bands they just out there rocking and the last thing they wanted to do and just like what queen said um uh mercury said he hate doing these interviews but all he wanted to do was just go out there and, and showcase his music but but these days, it seems like these people rather like get involved in politics and doing interviews and going to parties more than it's about their music. You know what I mean? Because their music sounds so corporate. And sometimes they're created by companies, you know, like a, a lot of these bands. And and even though a lot of them try to shake that stigma, like when they, them boy bands, for example, let me use that. With Justin Timberlake, I forgot the name of his band, but I think he spent most of his year trying to shake that, trying for people to take him seriously as a performer but it's difficult to shake that boy band created thing you know because it's, it's like you don't really know your identity then at this point it's like i, I did a reaction to a trailer for nilly vanilli milly vanilli or one of those <laughs> right and they were like corporate created even though they wanted to be real and sing their own songs but they couldn't it was under contract they had to do what the producers or whatever said and it ruined their careers. It didn't happen to Justin Timberlake, but I mean, you know, it's, it's very difficult to take people like that seriously. I mean, you can take people like uh, Taylor, um, Taylor Swift more seriously because she started off country and she wrote her own stuff and she performed by herself. So it wasn't really uh, corporate created. Now that she's older, she, I mean, in some ways I feel a little corporate with her, but it still hurts. You know what I mean? She still created it. It still belongs to her. She does whatever she wants. Nobody tells her what to do. Well, at least I don't think so. Okay. But I'm just saying like back then, these groups, they, they didn't like nobody controlled them. They did whatever they want. You know, whenever they was in a situation like like Prince, for example, right? When when they wouldn't let him out of his contract, he wrote slave on the side of his face, man, because he didn't want to be controlled. He wanted to be out there putting out his music. Whether you like it or not, he created something. He just wanted to put it out there for everybody to hear and do what he want. But a lot of the time, these corporates, they make most of the decisions. And I know this is the part they hate. You know what I mean? But when they get out on that stage, man, they can go out there and rock and do whatever the hell they want to, man. You know, sometimes they get in trouble. Sometimes they get arrested. Sometimes, like, they tear up hotels or whatever the situation is. But they are acting like themselves. They're acting real. And this is what they believe rock is. And, and I have to argue, man, this is what I think rock is mostly. This right here. You know, I don't know about the stuff that they're trying to create these days. But it seem, all seems phony and fake to me. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that the music isn't good these days. I'm just saying that it just doesn't feel the same. You know, it just feel like somebody is pulling the strings and put it together more than usual. OK, I mean, everybody got their limits. I'm sure if they were signed to a record company, they had to adhere to a few rules or whatever. Right. But mainly they probably just let these guys just go out there and do their thing and have a good time because you can feel the energy. You can feel the love of the music, period, period. OK. All right. I really appreciate all of you coming by and I hope you enjoy your Saturday over here it's looking beautiful, but I think it's going to rain later today. So I'm going to go out there and try to enjoy myself. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and peace.